So how would we put this new basic science information into practice for human physiology and treatment of human diseases? Well, there's a long road between now and then. But we do know that omega-3 fatty acids are very abundant in most kinds of fish, and they have lots of beneficial health effects beyond the anti-inflammatory effects which I've just spoken about. And certainly we know that reasonable amounts of omega-3 fatty acids are perfectly safe to consume. So the hope would be that one could ingest reasonable doses of omega-3 fatty acids and they might have this same beneficial effect in humans as we find in mice. The problem is we had to, had to give pretty high doses in the mice to achieve these effects and those doses might not translate into anything that's really practical in humans. So the second hope is that the receptor which we've identified that the omega-3 fatty acids work through, that receptor itself could be the target of a new discovery effort to try and find a small molecule imitator or mimic of the omega-3 fatty acids that one could take in a reasonable dose that might then give us all these really good anti-inflammatory, insulin-sensitizing, anti-diabetic effects.